एम्पियर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ अ अनोन डिवाइस डी व्हिच इज कनेक्टेड इन अ सर्किट इन सीरीज विद अ रेजिस्टेंस एंड अ बैटरी इज शोन इन द फिगर द वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस इज गिवन and the terminal voltage of the battery that is also given 5 kilo ohm you have to find out the potential drop across the device what should be the potential drop across the device now to begin with if you look into the problem there are two behaviors which we can Look into first of all. Let's say the V not voltage is five kilo volt. That is given. Resistance here is three hundred kilo ohms. Okay. If you look into I versus V character to begin with, it behaves like a ohmic person, ohmic resistor. But after a current of ten ampere, right, ten milli ampere, the voltage is becoming a constant. So for whatever value of uh, sorry for whatever value of voltage, the current cannot exceed a value of ten milliampere. That is given to. क्या रहा है शुभम? Two kilo volt is actually the correct result. क्या लिख रहे हैं for the device? What are you saying? Mm -hmm. So you are solving for a value of ten milliampere, है ना? So let us solve for a data where where I comes out to be. 10 milli ampere. We will check gradually. For so for 10 milli ampere, the drop that you are getting that is 300 into 10 raised to the power 3 into resistance uh, that is current 10 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. So you are getting what 3000. So 3 kilo volt, right? So for a V not of 5 kilo volt, I am getting a voltage of 3 kilo volt across this device seems to be that at this value this is 2 kilo volt fine may not be the final answer only so we need to check also aur koi condition isme nahi aa sakta this is the only thing ha check karna padega to check kya karna chahiye pratham aapka baat sunte hain this is fine that you assume that the voltage the answer to the the voltage across this device let's say we just Solve for some value ten milli ampere, and we got a value which is lying in that domain. That means our assumption seems correct. That is fine because I got a value of three kilo volt, right? Now one more possibility is that um, actually I don't have a I don't have a current. I mean this voltage is less than one, and I'm in this domain. So for that, what can I say? Is that a possibility in this problem? is is there a possibility that i may have something which is lying in this domain somewhere here hmm bolo hmm 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 and is that coming out to be greater than 10 so this domain can be verified because for voltage across device this is just a verification that i want to do and verify if the voltage across the device comes out to be less than 1 kilo volt so that means the voltage across resistance that is greater than 4 kilo volt that means the current across the resistance is greater than 4 kilo volt upon 300 kilo ohms Or is that four upon three hundred? Is greater than four upon three hundred? And because we are writing so in two thousand uh, milli ampere, what is this value coming out as forty by three? Yeah, so ten point something, and that is greater. So so there is a contradiction here. So we we'll leave the result. Fine. let us move on to the next problem that is uh, rc conceptual problem take question number 24 25 isko hata dete hain should i remove it yeah. 
वही वही किया वही किया बट द वैल्यूज दो वैल्यू बहुत सिंपल है ना दो ही बातें हैं या तो करंट टेन मिली एम्पियर से इट इज लेस देन टेन मिली एम्पियर इट इज ग्रेटर देन टेन मिली एम्पियर सो आई सॉल्व फॉर अ कॉम्बिनेशन वे मतलब टेन मिली एम दिस स्टेट इज प्रेवलेंट ना दैट इज वॉट आई एम सॉल्विंग फॉर If this state is present, I am solving for some voltage which is greater than one kilo volt. I got one value, so that is one answer. Then the only check should be: Is there a possibility here? So, so from values, I knew that there is no possibility. Just for a subjective check, I am I am finding out that those values are not possible. Okay, uh, because the second question is also there on this page only. So try question number seven. Again, the V versus I characteristic of a non-linear device and a corresponding circuit used are shown in the figure. Now, voltage V B of the battery is made to vary. Now, this is information which you have to be analyzing carefully. Voltage V B of the battery is made to vary. This is the variable voltage, okay? From zero to thirty volt, and V one. Across the device D, voltage V2 across the 10 ohm resistor, and the current I supplied by the battery are measured by ideal voltmeters V1 and V2 and ideal ammeter. Those are given. Now, which of the following graph or graphs represent the correct relationship? Just to you know represent these graphs correctly, these lines, the key points are like this, right? There is a non-differentiability point here. This is straightforward, one pixel by one pixel. Here also, if you observe, the values are different, not crossing any standard point. But in this case here, these are the values, and then straight line. This is the point of non-differentiability. Here also, this is the point. I think now you can observe the values carefully. to check which of the following options are correct would well, only in a device to have say coffee clarity here you need to begin with again it is behaving like a ohmic device then after that means whatever be the value of current after a settled stage its voltage is fixed at 5 for the device battery voltage is 5 so this these values you can use when you are varying it from 0 volt to 30 volt you can use this these values so any one information where through which you can start solving it like just look into any diagram just say v2 versus i this seems to be the slope kind of characteristic of this person the only thing is the current is not in this person na but these voltmeters are ideal so actually this graph is basically talking about the resistance ten ohm hai na so iska agar v versus i if you sit here you should see that the slope of this person should be 10 so this value is 30 this is perfectly fine this value is 30 and here it is 3 this talks about the resistance so no hassle with b option theek hai as far as the values are concerned let us check also and try to understand it is not mandatory that he is going through all the values because basically you have not applied any voltage which is greater than 30 so even if the this device d keeps some voltage with himself the 10 ohm guy cannot have a 30 so i am not saying that it is possessing all the values but the it is a straight line and slope is constant so that graph is correct तो ये तो बात सही है राइट नाउ यू कैन लुक इन टू वी बैटरी एंड द करेंट फंक्शन और एनी इजियर फंक्शन ऑल द फंक्शन आर नाउ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द बैटरी लेट्स से लेट्स टॉक अबाउट डी ऑप्शन लेट्स चेक द डी ऑप्शन फर्स्ट डी ऑप्शन बैटरी वोल्टेज यू कैन वेरी फ्रॉम जीरो टू थर्टी How do you expect this uh, current to vary? Because on the basis of current, you can answer, na? Usne to V2 ko bataya, V2 is I into R. 
सो इज डी ऑप्शन फॉर जीरो टू फाइव और जीरो टू फाइव ऑफ दैट पर्सन मतलब यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट ना इज डी कमिंग आउट टू बी करेक्ट कैसे पीयूष आया You are saying up to 15 volt it will follow one pattern, or V B check कर लेते हैं, or zero less than equal to V B less than equal to 15. Let's see what characteristic will that follow. Uh, that means you are saying that uh, the voltage that you are getting across 10 ohm that is behaving. From zero to fifth, but zero to ten, why? So after five, everything is fine. So after after it acquires a voltage of five, that is the device. So basically, after that, it doesn't change the voltage. So that means this person will have a value of what? So what is that value after which it will increase? Character wise, I am convinced. The only, on my only concern is for fifteen less than equal to V B less than equal to thirty. Uh, I I want to see the the variation also the function. V B minus five afterwards. तो उसको तो पांच से बदलेगा नहीं. तो ये function तो V B minus five है. And I am talking about the voltage V two. V two. V two is what I want to write. And to begin with, what is the value? V two should be equal to two by three. Yeah. वो directly भी बोल सकते हैं यार क्योंकि इसका character linear है. So you know the value of current and current into resistance should be the voltage. Because this person is always having a resistance of ten. The only thing requires is the current function. Current function of this person and the the ten ohm person is the same. इसका current का function है क्या वैसे? What is I? इसका current का function क्या था? So I will come out as two by five times V of this box. Is that fine? So two by five times V of the device is the current through the device, right? And this current into ten. So two by five times V device. Is it fine? And I mean, we will write it. बट बैटरी और उसका वोल्टेज के क्रॉस तो हम रिलेशन लिख ही लेंगे बट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द डिवाइस वी टू कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक दिस एंड अब डिवाइस का आपने जो अप्लाई किया उसके साथ लिखना चाहते हो सो हाउ कैन बी राइट हाँ मतलब ठीक है वो डायरेक्टली भी लिख सकते हैं क्योंकि वो आई के साथ भी लिख सकते हैं ठीक है ना सिंपल है इतना The matter of fact is, फिर से बोल देते हैं कि for uh, up to the value of five volt, it is behaving like a resistor only. So practically, for the total supply, till he gets five volt, he is acting like a resistor. And if he acts like a resistor, his resistance is coming out as five five volts. So that way you can distribute it, and afterwards it has become a constant voltage. That value is five. So whatever you supply after that. He will take a fixed voltage, and remaining voltage will be linearly distributed. You check the values; otherwise, we can find them. Yeah, that's okay. Now, tell me the A or the C part. C part seems simple. C can be answered. V one versus V B. Again, from the same values, it can help up to fifteen. If you got this value here, fifteen, up to a value of fifteen. V1 and VB, they are having a linear characteristic, है ना? क्योंकि वो तो रेजिस्टेंस की तरह ही बिहेव कर रहा होगा, तो क्या V1 आ रहा होगा? करंट, VB के साथ उसका बिहेव क्या हो रहा होगा? What is V1 in this domain? So V by three ना? Sorry ना? It should be VB upon net resistance, and the resistance that you have got is 15. Into uska resistance and that value is five. So basically, V B by three. 
that's what i'm getting so you can check it's vb by 3 and after that whatever is vb this voltage becomes fine so fine this is also fine this is also no hassle in finding out this value also no all good up to this stage so theek hai vb by 330 to 10 all good up to this stage. just check the a option now just check again values are quite clear up to 15 it is having a linear characteristic so again i can directly say that up to this value it is linear and what is the value of i with vb so i think this domain the value should be i is equal to vb upon net resistance which is 15 that is it after that vb versus i so after that i should say i mean in this domain my equation should be like what vb minus 5 is what i will apply by 10 that should be the current i if you check i think you will get this after the और वो 15 आपको मिल ही रहा है ऑल गुड ए बी सी एंड डी ऑल सीम करेक्ट आगे चले पिकअप द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम व्हिच वाज ऑन अ आर सी कॉम्बिनेशन सो टेक द क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 मेक इट टेक क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 The figure shows part of a large network in which potential of some of the points are shown. Each capacitor has capacitance of five microfarad. Which of the following statements is are true? All the capacitances are five microfarad. Potentials are known. So, which statements is are true? Check. First is from the given information, the potential of O can be determined, but that of B cannot be determined. So let's try to find out. And B option, if you read both the things, that will give you a complete feel. From the given information, potential of both points O and B cannot be determined. So what are the key equations I can write and comment? Just think. Assume some voltages, and then you can make the comments. So because zero he has already taken at this point, so you can take some values. Let's say voltage here is. A volt. Let's take the voltage here as B volts. Let's see, है ना? Right. So, first of all, we are trying to solve this problem. First of all, let's be very clear that he is considering this problem at t tending to infinity. If he is talking about the, I will answer both the things. Transient state also, I will answer. but if he is discussing the problem at steady state what is that we can tell so generally from the basic information assuming that all the initial states were zero and this is the final state so uh, there is a loop where the net charge should be zero so seems like a minus b ka ek term hai drop then because current is not flowing so this point will be at 10 volts so i'm having a a minus 10 drop i'm having a a minus minus 10 drop and i'm having a a minus 0 drop i am just taking all the c's together right they are given and make it equal to 0 so through this loop right i can write one equation carefully by conservation of that charge so um 
I mean, we can write that equation between A and B, but nothing more than that. If you look into this equation, what are the terms you are getting? You are getting a 4A term, then you are having a minus B term. So, 4A term or minus B term I am getting. That is coming out as 0. Yep. So, there is a relation between A and B. So, when he says the potential of both O and B cannot be determined, that seems correct. Potential of this is not, that is not right. Data is not complete to find out. We can write an equation that seems fine. Or if the charge on capacitor C2 was specified, potential of O can be determined. But that of B, no, that is wrong. If, if any one charge was specified here, I could have solved no problem because C was already known. So that is not right. C option is incorrect in the problem. You know? Just read D now. If the charge on C2 were also specified, okay, potential of oh, that seems perfect. D option seems correct. So as far as this RC is concerned, B and D seem to be the correct result. Okay, chale. Achha, um, if this problem pertains to the uh, state, general T is equal to T state, then there will be a problem because there can be some current through the resistance R and then even this equation will be with there. Ya to current bata de, otherwise we will end up with three variables. Because whatever current is there otherwise, that is not required, but this expression is needed. Then I will have three variables. So even if you provide that charge, still I will be stuck. Very moment. So it is better that he would have specified that he is talking in the steady state of the problem. Okay. Pick up uh, this problem number 19. Again, a multi correct problem. So you have to be careful. In the circuit shown, the device D has a property that if initially non if initially non-conducting, it remains non-conducting until voltage across it rises to a value V1, which is less than V0. So, non-conducting. And uh, it then rapidly discharges the capacitor until the voltage across it drops to a negligibly small value, whereupon it returns to a non-conducting stage and the voltage So, again it will charge. So, can you tell me the the periodicity, the voltage developed across the capacitor is. He has already mentioned that up to a value which is less than, which is V1. And V1 less than V0, it remains non-conducting. So basically, it, it behaves like an open circuited wire. And then at that very instance, when it attains a voltage of V1, it discharges suddenly, you know, rapidly discharges and value attains nearly zero value. So if you draw the RC uh, Q versus T graph also, you'll get your result. You're getting it? You know? What is coming out to be the correct result? C, C is right. Well, simply, I can say the voltage across the capacitor as function of time Vc, if I want to write, it is V0 into 1 minus E raised to the power minus T by tau. Tau value here is Rc. This is for Vc from 0 up to a value which is V1. This function is followed. So, as soon as it acquires a value of V1, it will take some time. You know? So, if I just try to draw the graph, it seems like from 0, in, it was trying to go towards this value, V0, but exactly when it acquires a V1 value, then it suddenly discharges. And then this kind of pattern is being followed. This time gap is low. So, this is the periodicity we are talking about. 
this is what we are talking about so i think if you find out this t here you should get and when you solve it comes out to be c now let us change this problem a bit to a multi correct uh, paragraph type problem just look into this rc where some electro concepts are also being added so look into question number 24 and 25 here he talks about two electrically neutral conducting thin spherical shells of radius r and 3r a particle of positive charge capital q that is fixed at a distance of 2r from the common center of the shells that is given now what is the question the inner shell can be electrically connected to the outer shell through a resistance r1 with the help of a switch s1 and the outer shell can be grounded through a resistance r2 with the help of another switch s2 so a connection between inner and outer that is through s1 with the help of a resistance r1 an outer is can be grounded with uh, resistance r2 those switches are being given now now here is the first problem how much total heat is dissipated in r1 after the switch s1 is kept closed keeping the switch s2 open until a steady state is reached so draw this circuit and let's try to find out the amount of heat which is being generated in the first part remember a capital q charge is also being kept at a distance of 2r from the center and if you look into the initial state when you are starting the problem when you are closing the switch there doesn't seem i mean if i draw this separately just to show you the initial state i'm redrawing the circuit uh, outer person is not even connected so your circuit is like this i mean state is like this there is a plus q charge which is fixed here and this distance from the center comes out as 2r this radius is r this radius is 3r nothing else is connected so seems like here it will be 0 0 here it will be minus q and some positive q charge ठीक बात है so this this is already present now you close the switch so we start the problem from this part only let us connect a switch here to our resistance and let us try to close it this resistance is r1 and the switch is s1 connect the inner and the outer person with the help of a conducting wire now you have to observe the final state in the problem if we want we can also analyze a general state but i don't think we want to write the function we can write the energy or the heat generated directly so try to write that uh, function what i am trying to say is if this is my initial state so i am using different colors for the different states initial state is given i am in this problem only i want to write the general t is equal to t state the general state t is equal to t right at this stage because at this stage what 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 are the charges we can write so let's see uh we think we can write a charge zero here there may be some q here or is q par aa jayega so this total is uh, plus q plus q so minus small q minus capital q here this is the capital q charge and what was the total of inner and outer that was zero so capital q here on the outer surface by conservation of charge you know remember remember q is some function of time and let me i'll whatever function you need i'll write afterwards let me write the final stage now final stage so those values we can directly convey let's see because finally both the voltages will be equal inner and the outer voltages yeah so i'm writing final values as zero 
आई एम टेकिंग सम क्यू नॉट क्यू का वैल्यू सम क्यू नॉट माइनस क्यू नॉट माइनस कैपिटल क्यू एंड दिस वैल्यू सीम्स टू बी कैपिटल क्यू राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन द फाइनल स्टेट सॉल्व फॉर क्यू नॉट ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू नॉट एंड विल सी वॉट इज क्यू नॉट कमिंग आउट एस बिकॉज द पोटेंशियल of both the person are equal so what is q not kitna hai in the final stage just give me the value of q not by the static condition while writing the potential on the outermost surface so all these inner cavity elements are will be redundant so capital q is the only person who will generate field so it seems like uh, k capital q upon 3r and what about the inner potential at that stage hmm kitna that will be the potential of the inner surface the net potential of the inner surface is what i want all of you to write here yeah. लिखो हाँ क्या दैट वैल्यू स्मॉल क्यू नॉट विच आई हैव रिटर्न आई वॉन्ट एक बार वो एक्सप्रेशन बता दो क्यू नॉट कितना निकला हम्म और जो चार्ज अलग से रखा हुआ है प्लस कैपिटल क्यू प्लस कैपिटल क्यू को डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किया एक स्पेरिकल फॉर्म में कैसे मतलब वो ही बन जाना चाहता हूं हाँ इनिशियल स्टेट पे तो लिख सकते हैं ठीक है ओके okay, okay. एक तो बहुत स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड है इफ यू टेल मी द फाइनल चार्ज किसी भी रास्ते से आप बता दो तो मुझे Q के टर्म्स में फंक्शन दिख रहा है मतलब आई कैन राइट द पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप दे एंड आई आई जस्ट इंटीग्रेट Q फ्रॉम द इनिशियल वैल्यू वॉज जीरो टू क्यू नॉट क्योंकि जो डिफरेंस है वो तो मुझे दिख ही रहा है वॉट इज दैट वी बी माइनस वी सी तुम्हारा जनरल वी बी माइनस वी सी क्या है जनरल फंक्शन बिकॉज माई इंटरेस्ट वाइल आई एम फाइंडिंग आउट दिस हीट आई एम वेरी क्लियर द आंसर टू द प्रॉब्लम इज I just want to integrate Q from zero to Q is equal to Q naught, and uh, there will be a dQ flow that will happen, and I'll write the potential drop. So this is the general function only which you will make equal to zero while writing the result. Polarity you can take care of, but general state me potential function ek bar V B minus V C. मैं देखना चाहता हूं क्या आपका निकल के आ रहा है यू आर गेटिंग के कैपिटल क्यू बाय सिक्स आर टर्म एंड यू आर गेटिंग अ टू बाय थ्री टाइम्स के क्यू बाय स्मॉल आर टर्म है ना हाँ विशा कैसे आ रहे हैं वो टर्म्स वो बताओ इसी का फाइनल देख लेते हैं पहले हाँ फाइनली बताना क्या लिखा जनरली कैन एक्सप्लेन मतलब जनरली बताना मुझे इन येलो टर्म्स में से कौन कौन से टर्म आपने यहां लिखा ठीक है तो दैट इज के क्यू नॉट बाय सो द टर्म्स दैट यू हैव रिटर्न आई विल जस्ट ट्राई टू राइट इट इमीडिएटली सो के टर्म आई हैव गॉट आई हैव गॉट अ क्यू नॉट अपॉन स्मॉलर टर्म या देन कैपिटल क्यू बाय 2 आर एट एनर पॉइंट You're writing capital Q term by two R term, yeah. Then why plus term here? Here, so no. This is just how much it is. Minus Q not, no. 
and that you are writing as minus q not by p r. So you are writing minus q not term by p r. Yeh likh rho? Plus minus q not minus capital Q. Just check karo but before you prepare. Is this fine? Check all the terms carefully. And the same thing you have to write as difference at general t is equal to t. At general r is equal to r. On the outer surface, fine. It is k capital Q by 3 times small r. On the inner surface, look into all the terms carefully. So k q naught term in the final state by r, that is fine. Capital Q ka effect waha likha hai andar wale point par. That is coming out as 2 r. Right. और जो लास्ट वाला सरफेस लिखा है माइनस क्यू नॉट माइनस क्यू दैट इज डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री आर तो फ्रॉम दिस वैल्यू सॉल्व व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू नॉट यू आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम हियर माइनस कैपिटल क्यू बाय फोर माइनस कैपिटल क्यू बाय फोर नाउ एवरीथिंग इज फाइन बिकॉज दिस क्यू नॉट विल बिकम Minus capital Q by four. I'll take the mod of this expression. That's fine. And uh, now just write the potential drop down. Same expression which we have written earlier. So write the same expression. the second approach the one thing is this if we want to add the potential drop this way agar hum so capacitance ki tarah dekh le so again we can write the answer just on hmm ab shubham bolo kya bol raha ha तो कैपिटल क्यू को दोनों सरफेसेस के ऊपर डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कैसे किया है तो वही मैं बोल रहा हूं उस कैपिटल क्यू को अगर आप डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर लो किसी स्पेरिकल शेल के जैसे मतलब यू कैन मेक अ हाइपोथेटिकल स्पेरिकल शेल देयर और उसको डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हैं इनर सरफेस और आउटर सरफेस पे देन टू लुक इन टू दिस प्रॉब्लम एज अस्पेरिकल कैपेसिटर विल बिकम इवन इजियर या जो बात आप बोल रहे हो कि बिकॉज ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ दिस स्पेसिफिक चार्ज दैट पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप विच वी आर राइटिंग इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट है ना उसकी वजह से जो खुद का आ रहा है वो अंदर वाले सर्फेस के ऊपर एक कॉन्स्टेंट की तरह आ रहा है जो आप लोगों ने भी लिखा है के क्यू बाई टू मतलब अगर इसमें भी देखें तो हम वही लिख रहे हैं स्पेसिफिकली अलग अलग चार्जेस के लिए लिख रहे हैं कैपिटल क्यू का अंदर वाले पॉइंट पे लिखा दैट कम्स आउट एज कैपिटल क्यू बाय टू और इसका लिखा ऑन द सेम सरफेस दैट इज आल्सो फाइन दिस आउटर सरफेस चार्ज आल्सो वी आर राइटिंग देयर ऑन द इनर सर्फेस इन द फाइनल स्टेट वॉट अबाउट कैपिटल क्यू इन द फाइनल स्टेज द लास्ट सर्फेस तो बेसिकली पॉइंट है कि डिफरेंस लिख रहे हैं वो ये लिख रहे हैं ना मतलब अल्टीमेटली अलग अलग देखने की जगह बेटर होता कि आप इस सरफेस से इस सरफेस तक का जिसका भी डिफरेंस में कंट्रीब्यूशन है वो देख लेते हैं एंड जस्ट मेक द डिफरेंस इक्वल टू जीरो इन द फाइनल स्टेज सो दैट रीजन वाज कंक्रीटली गवर्नड क्योंकि जब आप बोल रहे हो कि कैपिटल क्यू इज प्रोवाइडिंग अ कांस्टेंट ऑन द इनर सरफेस एज़ वेल एज़ द आउटर सरफेस थिंग्स आर फाइन तो जो भी वेरिएशन है वो दो ही चार्जेस का है जो उसी डोमेन में बैठे हुए हैं दैट इज दैट स्मॉल क्यू एंड माइनस स्मॉल क्यू माइनस कैपिटल क्यू और इसका डिफरेंस एक फिक्स टाइप का कुछ मुझे मिल रहा है ये वेरिएशन दे रहा है मुझे आर के साथ दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग है ना एक आर के साथ कुछ वेरिएशन प्रोवाइड कर रहा है और एक कॉन्स्टेंट डिफरेंस प्रोवाइड कर रहा है जो जो कैपिटल क्यू का चार्ज है वो कॉन्स्टेंट डिफरेंस देता है तो मैं ये लिख रहा हूं कि अगर मुझे मैग्नीट्यूड ही चाहिए था 
तो यहाँ पर मुझे मॉड टर्म से भी काम बन जाएगा एक बार एक्सप्रेशन देखा क्या बन रहा है आपका खत्म करते हैं फिर इसको सो दैट इज बिकमिंग के कैपिटल क्यू बाय सिक्स टाइम्स स्मॉल आर माइनस टू बाय थ्री टाइम्स के स्मॉल क्यू बाय स्मॉल आर टर्म चेक दैट है तो मुझे दिए हुए थे मेरा काम बन जाना चाहिए वो डिफरेंस क्यू क्यू पर डिपेंड करे था मैं लिख दी और क्यू को आप मैग्नीट्यूड ले लेना आई थिंक यू शुड गेट योर रिजल्ट फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर द फर्स्ट वन आगे चले नाउ द प्रॉब्लम इज वेन स्टडी स्टेट इज रीच्ड आफ्टर क्लोजिंग द स्विच एस वन दैट स्टेट यू ऑलरेडी नो द अदर स्विच इज ऑल्सो क्लोज नाउ एस टू द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मच टोटल हीट इज डिसिपेटेड After S2 is closed until a new steady state is reached. So that is basically the effect of S2 on the problem. So solve करना जरा देखते हैं. ये हटा दूँ पूरा. इतना segment. Solve it. Your first steady state is known. इन द प्रॉब्लम वहीं से आप प्रॉब्लम को स्टार्ट कर लो यू नो द इनिशियल चार्जेस नाउ दो क्यू नॉट वैल्यूज कैपिटल क्यू वैल्यूज आई विल रिमूव दिस नाउ यू इनिशियट योर प्रॉब्लम सो योर जीरो स्टेट फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज डिफाइन कर लेते हैं यू हैव टू ओनली फाइंड आउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ एस टू ऑन द प्रॉब्लम सो ड्रॉ दैट स्टेट एंड ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द हीट विच इज डिसिपेटेड इन बोथ द Resistors. Calculate it. Let's see. Twenty fourth का result क्या निकल के आ रहा है आप लोगों का? C, C, fine. That is correct. That was correct. Twenty fifth. Few things we can directly mention in the problem, है ना? जैसे कुछ option तो directly बन रहे हैं. जैसे do you think in this problem again if the outer shell is connected, inner ones are connected through r r1 bahar wale surface ko further steady state se connect kar diya with r2 and inner one is not going to produce anything so no heat is dissipated in r1 seems correct to a mujhe theek nahi lagta mujhe d bhi theek nahi lag raha both the resistors dissipate different amounts of heat right now ये तो वैसे ही गलत लग रहा है दिस मतलब सीम्स इनकरेक्ट आई थिंक इफ समथिंग हैज टू बी थॉट अपॉन इट इज ओनली सी दैट वी शुड चेक चेक द वैल्यू ऑफ हीट इसमें भी इन बोथ द कॉम्बिनेशन इनफैक्ट आई डोंट इवन नीड टू कैलकुलेट इट नाउ डायरेक्टली बोल सकते हैं वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ चार्ज दैट यू हैड ऑन द आउटर सर्फेस दे मैंने कैलकुलेट नहीं किया था व्हाट वाज़ द वैल्यू और सरफेस ओके राइट तो हाउ मच हीट आर वी डिसिपेटिंग फ्रॉम आर टू आर वी डिसिपेटिंग एनी हीट फ्रॉम आर वन नहीं आर टू से ही देख रहे हैं आर टू से कितना डिसिपेट करेंगे वो देख लेते हैं सारा चार्ज जा सकता है ना आर वन से कैसे फ्लो करेगा क्योंकि अंदर तो कोई चेंज हो ही नहीं इनडायरेक्टली आपने सिर्फ जो S2 वाला आउटर सरफेस है उसको जाके अर्थ कर दिया फर्दर इनर एक स्टडी स्टेट मेंटेन थी मतलब हाँ तो आप यही चीज तो मैं चाहता हूँ इस प्रॉब्लम में मुझे इनिशियल स्टेट आप बता दो क्या क्या आपको दिख रही है आपको प्लस कैपिटल Q फिक्स दिख रहा है एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ ट्वाइस ऑफ आर यू जस्ट टेल मी द चार्जेस जो हमने निकाले थे मुझे एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू बताओ क्या था मुझे साइन uh, के साथ बताना सो दिस वैल्यू वॉज जीरो हेयर What was this magnitude here with sign? Minus capital Q by four. You got a value here. It was Q minus Q by four, three Q by four. So you got minus three Q by four here. Minus three Q by four was prevalent here. And what was the last surface? Q. Q. So their total was coming out in this problem. We had not given any charge to these people. So effective charge. that was coming out as zero so now you can start the problem 
there is a resistor think this is the state there is a resistance r1 which is connected between these two people r1 connected hai. and effectively you are also connecting a r2 which is connecting this person to a earth state you are closing the switch so as such you have disturbed the circuit the outer one is also earthed now we need, we need to find out the heat which will be dissipated in both of them check now hmm shubham so, kya bolna chahte ho bol ah ठीक है जो इसकी नई फाइनल स्टेट आएगी अब ये प्रॉब्लम के लिए इनिशियल स्टेट है यहां से जो फाइनल स्टेट आएगी जब सार वो बस एक बार वो ड्रॉ कर दो तो वी कैन इजिली नाउ आंसर जस्ट ड्रॉ दैट फाइनल स्टेट बोथ ऑफ देम विल बी अर्थ डम राइट व्हाट आर द चार्जेस यू कैन सी गट अ जीरो चार्ज है आउटर मोस्ट ऑल्सो विल बी जीरो है ना so what is it i'll have a charge x here maybe so i am also having a charge which is minus x minus q which is present here so just find out the value of x right now so sadar wale ka net potential zero kar do so what are we getting this radius is r na and this is 3r so x ka value final stage jo ab aa raha hai is se you have to find out the value of x let's see what is the value of x you are getting if i write the potential at the inner surface and make it equal to 0 outer one i have already made equal to 0 so i got the last surface charge as 0 x का वैल्यू आ रहा है फाइव क्यू बाई फोर क्या इन द फाइनल स्टेट योर x इज कमिंग आउट ऑल ऑफ यू जस्ट चेक दिस वैल्यू आई राइट द इक्वेशन पीपल कैन सॉल्व इट टर्म्स बताओ मुझे शुभम वेन यू आर राइटिंग द टर्म्स क्या क्या अंदर वाले सरफेस पे लिख रहे हो आप माइनस क्यू बाई फोर आ रहा है वैल्यू दैट यू आर गेटिंग इज एक्चुअली माइनस क्यू बाई फोर ठीक है क्या क्या टर्म्स लिखे एक बार बस इक्वेशन के टर्म्स बता दो क्या क्या लिखा है वो हटा देते हैं मेन चीज क्या क्या ओके एक्स बाय आर टर्म लिखा है ठीक है Q by capital Q by two R is fine. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So you are writing x by twice of R. You are writing capital Q by twice of R again. Ah, okay. x by R, x by R. Yeah. X by R on the surface. Then you are writing Q by two R cut down. और एक टर्म आपका आ रहा है माइनस एक्स माइनस क्यू डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री आर एंड यू आर मेकिंग इट इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज हेल्पिंग यू आउट टू फाइंड आउट एक्स ये तो ठीक लग रहा है अब फाइनल स्टेट में आपको सारे चार्जेस पता है एंड अगेन इट इज कमिंग आउट एज माइनस क्यू बाई फोर तो अब तो फिर सारी चीजें खत्म सो दैट जस्टिफाइज दिस फैक्ट दैट नो हिट इज डिसिपेटेड सो अब निकाल दो कितना आया होगा उसका स्टडी स्टेट और उसका इनिशियल स्टेट आइडेंटिकल है तो उसमें तो फ्लो होता हुआ चार्ज नहीं दिखा ये बात तो सही है है ना क्या लिखना चाहिए टर्म हम्म 
ठीक लग रहा है क्यू स्क्वायर अपॉन ट्वाइस ऑफ सी लग रहा है और सी टर्म इसका फोर पाइव साल एन नॉट इन टू थ्री आर आता हुआ दिख रहा है तो वट इज द टर्म कम इन ट्वेंटी फोर इट्स फाइन तो आई थिंक सी शुड बी करेक्ट इज एन करेक्ट एंड बिकॉज वी हैव चेक्ड वेरीफाइड इट कि अंदर वाला जो स्टेट है वो ठीक है तो बस वो उसकी जो बाहर वाली एनर्जी है वो लिख दो क्या प्रॉब्लम है डी में क्या है बोथ द रेजिस्टर्स डिसिपेट डिफरेंट अमाउंट्स ऑफ हिट अब डिफरेंट अमाउंट कहना बड़े अजीब बात है बिकॉज एक ने तो जीरो किया है तो वो पता नहीं लेट आई आई डिसाइड वेदर ही विल गिव ओनली सी और सी और टी बिकॉज टेक्निकली डिफरेंट अमाउंट डजेंट मेक एनी सेंस बिकॉज हिट इज नॉट बिंग जनरेट Look into question number nine and find out the. Actually, he has given a VI characteristic in the problem, which is for a incandescent lamp, as shown in the adjoining figure. He has also said this lamp can withstand a maximum voltage of three volt and a maximum current of point four ampere, point four ampere, and three volt. ग्राफ uh, भी अगर आप देखो तो कुछ डेटा प्रॉपरली दिया हुआ है आई मीन इफ यू लुक इनटू दिस इंफॉर्मेशन हियर इट इज परटेनिंग टू पॉइंट टू एम एंड वन वोट ठीक है सो इनिशियल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक अप टू अ गिवन वैल्यू मे बी इवन मोर देन वन वोल्ट समवेयर हियर समवेयर बिटवीन वन पॉइंट थ्री वन पॉइंट फोर तक इट सीम्स लाइक अ ओमिक बॉडी न द पॉइंट इज मेनी मतलब इनफाइनाइट सच रजिस्टर्स और Bulbs are being connected in this circuit, and his question is simple. He has said that what maximum voltage can an external agent apply in this problem here? So, what is the V max that he can apply? That is the question. it is more about the criss cross thinking and looking into the data appropriately and uh, ye bhi baat sahi hai that uh, if you look into the values when it remains ohmic matlab main itna bol sakta hu when it is ohmic in that domain it has got a resistance which comes out as or 5 ohms yeah And v by i value so one upon point two so five ohms है जब जब ohmic है तो five ohm अब ये नहीं पता है कि when we apply the maximum voltage which of them will behave in the ohmic manner so that is the only thing which you have to apply है ना one thing that comes to our mind directly from the problem is that this current now there is a boundary on current also and i know that in, at any cost i cannot go beyond 0.4 right so to begin with the thought that comes to my mind and i can confirm everything then that thought is that he is not behaving in a ohmic way so he has got some resistance x because it seems like that i will have some value which is very high maybe i can check with a value 0.4 also i write the inequality don't worry but this is the person who has got the maximum current and it seems like that in between these points like c and b if we can replace this body with a subtle resistance let's say r prime we don't know what is it then the current through this first person which is the highest current that should be v upon if i voltage is d that is v upon x plus r prime and that should be less than equal to 0.4 at any cost if that is satisfied then all the other people will have obviously have less current also i should write for the voltage the second term what is that second equation this is the current equation net resistance likh diya नॉर्मल मैंने नेट लिख दिया वोल्टेज इज नोन टू म्यू एंड एट दिस स्टेज आई डोंट नो द रेजिस्टेंस कोई तो रेजिस्टेंस होगा 
होम्स लॉ तो इंस्टेंस पे करे गई बस तभी तो एक्स लिखा है मुझे नहीं पता ना एक्स की वैल्यू क्या है हर इंस्टेंस पे तो वी इज इक्वल टू आई आर हो गई पॉइंट इज आई डोंट नो दैट वेदर दैट आर इज कॉन्स्टेंट और नॉट दैट्स आई सेड ना इट हैज सम वैल्यू एक्स दैट एक्स विल बी परटेनिंग टू द स्लोप आई डोंट नो द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हेयर बट दैट इन इक्वालिटी ऑफ पॉइंट फोर इज कमिंग सिमिलरली आई वॉन्ट टू राइट एन इक्वालिटी फॉर थ्री ऑल्सो थ्री राइट इट फॉर दैट दो लोग हैं वहां पर उनके वोल्टेज का लिखना है तो लिख दो आप वोल्टेज भाई इफ यू अप्लाई वी नन ऑफ देम शुड फेल सो वट इज द वोल्टेज दैट यू वॉन्ट टू राइट अक्रॉस दोज पीपल तो दोनों को इंडिविजुअली लिख सकता हूं एक टर्म मेरा आ रहा है निकल के x इंटू ये वाला टर्म जो करेंट का टर्म है वो लिख के लग रहा है मुझे एक टर्म लग रहा है x इंटू वी अपॉन एक्स प्लस आर प्राइम टर्म और ये भी है साथ में दैट आई हैव टू कंपेयर दिस वैल्यू विथ थ्री बट द सेकेंड वोल्टेज टर्म इज ऑल्सो देयर एंड देयर ऑल्सो इफ यू लुक इन टू दी करेंट दैट विल बी वी अपॉन एक्स प्लस आर प्राइम एंड आई हैव आर प्राइम आई कंपेयर देम आई कंपेयर देम विथ थ्री कंपेरिजन लेट मी सी विच वन विच इन इक्वालिटी इफ आई जस्टिफाई देन द प्रॉब्लम विल सॉर्ट आउट करेक्टली so the problem is actually based on these equations where i will finally find out the inequality on b so write a final equation on b now as far as r prime is concerned there are few things i can directly write and we will verify it don't worry that part of the circuit which moves further you know take if those all those people start behaving ohm ohmically what is your r prime and then i will verify also whether my assumption is right or not so calculation of r prime assuming ohmic character what is that r prime free acha root 5 ko 2.2 diya hua hai so this is what you treated as a infinite grid you got that value and that was in parallel with that value only okay so you have taken after the parallel connection you got the value of x 3 okay so your x in this problem then r prime as far as your calculation is concerned you people are getting 3 right check all of you can check spend some time uh -huh. Mm -hmm. why x is coming there x should not come because i am simply saying that all these people here i am solving for r prime na and if all of them start behaving ohmically then all the resistances are known as phi so if all these people are phi then i calculated this r prime value which comes out to be 3 right that resistance is even lesser than what i expected is it fine to so no hassles for that because if he talks about this these values you can see the slope here di by dv is reducing so dv by di is increasing so he is talking about resistance which is greater than 5 and my resistance is coming out as 3 so my assumption is right that much is fine now you do the calculations मतलब ये तो क्लियर हो गया कि इस चीज इस चीज में कोई प्रॉब्लम वहां क्रिएट नहीं हो रही जो आगे वाले रेजिस्टर्स हैं तो द ओनली थिंग इज टू राइट दीज टू इक्वेशन करेक्टली एंड चेक व्हाट आर वी गेटिंग आप विषय क्या वैल्यू आ रहा है बस दो को आप एक बाउंड्री कंडीशन पर सॉल्व कर दो जाके मल्टीप्लाई द अब इक्वेशन इफ यू आर सॉल्विंग Into v upon x plus r prime, and just solve for v. Just multiply the above equation by x and try to add them up. What is the value?
एक बार चेक कर लेना जो वैल्यू विच यू हैव गॉट आर प्राइम इट मे बी अ डिफरेंट वैल्यू सो आई आई थिंक यू शुड चेक द कैलकुलेशन इन द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट फोर पॉइंट सिक्स के आसपास आ रहा है द रिजल्ट दैट यू आर फोर पॉइंट टू द इनपुट दैट वी हैव अप्लाइड इज अराउंड फोर पॉइंट टू देखो मेन मेन चीजें देख लो आप लोग कैलकुलेशन कर लेना सीबी के अबाउट इक्वेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस निकाल लेना फिर आपको वोल्टेज अपॉन नेट रेजिस्टेंस की क्वेश्चन एक मिल जाएगी जो करेंट वाली है इसके अलावा आपको ये ध्यान रखना है कि किसी भी एक बंदे से जो वोल्टेज है दैट वोल्टेज शुड बी लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री नन ऑफ द वोल्टेज शुड एक्सीड थ्री तो जो मेन लोग हैं उनको हम देख रहे हैं सो व्हाट वी आर ट्राइंग टू से इज वी आर ट्राइंग टू इंश्योर दैट दिस वोल्टेज इज लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री ऑल ऑफ देम विल बी फर्दर लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री दिस इज ऑल्सो लेस देन इक्वल टू थ्री एंड इफ फ्रॉम दीज टू वी कैन राइट वन ऑफ देम Less than equal to three, such that the other one is justified. Then our point is even simpler, because you have already calculated our point. Ideally, I should check all three of them. Ideally, after calculation of our prime, I should confirm that this value is less than equal to three. This is also less than equal to three. So this condition, this condition, and this condition. So for all these three inequalities to be simultaneously satisfied. If I can satisfy them, my purpose is current वाली बात भी हो गई and all the voltages are also taken. V की value आपको निकालें ऐसे तो देखें तो generally V और X के साथ ही है so you can look into combinations also and solve and check which one is the the maximum voltage which you can apply. If in exam you don't want to deal with inequalities, directly look into equality combinations. You have your R prime. You solve for two equalities and get the value of V and X correspondingly. Set of any these two and then maybe set of these two, and then you can verify also. है ना आ जाता है. What is the value? The four point four point two. कौन कौन सा solve किया प्रथम? As uh, R prime was three, and uh, you are saying as R prime was coming out to be less than x. So R prime तो छोटा ही आ रहा था, और वो outer domain में जा रहा था. So this point I accept. So so then finally what you got? Finally, your equations uh, which you should need is V upon X plus R prime is less than equal to point four. This is the equation, and the second equation is X P को देख लेते हैं क्योंकि वो तो फिर हो ही जाएगा. तो दूसरी ये वाली देख लेते हैं. X P upon X plus R prime. Reason is we are in the this domain where uh, the resistance is even higher, so this is less than equal to P. These two equations we want to solve. What you have done, you have. Uh, Acha, from from these two, if you solve, you get the boundary value of V, which is approximately four point two. So maybe solve for equality and check. You should get your answer, right? So fine, I'll uh, I'll finish off the class here, and we will catch up with more problems with all of you tomorrow. So just we this time of non-omic characters are quite uh, important from JE's perspective. Partially, two three questions we have done. Okay. कल मिलते हैं ओके टेक केयर स्टूडेंट्स बाय बाय